Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to the Let's Play series. I missed your faces. I hope you're all doing well. So while I'm talking, you can see some old footage that I've had for months. It's uh, me bringing back uh, Shulker. It's the first time I do this and it's actually pretty interesting. I also want to address why I haven't uploaded videos. I mean, YouTube has always been a passion project of mine. I know my YouTube channel was never really scheduled or that I didn't promise videos every week or whatever. It was more just a, a hobby. And yeah, last year, like last summer, I got pretty demotivated. Not even the game or editing. It was more my mood of never really be able to spend some time to be all jolly and talking to a mic. I just played the game, recorded footage, edited footage, but I didn't want to talk on top of it. Took a break last summer, played the game a little bit, but not as much as I used to. I mean, I know it's my biggest weakness. I don't have the YouTube voice. I don't have a great accent. You know, it's fine. I'm willing to work with that. It's not the, the issue. The issue is yeah, being open and talking into a mic is not something I'm used to. And yeah, I thought I would get the hang of it after a while, but you know, it's like what? 10 videos in and I'm still stuttering like crazy, so it's not easy. I know some of you had hopes for this YouTube channel, how it's growing, etc. I can really see how the growth shifted once I started the Let's Play instead of just doing build tutorials. And I can understand that 90% of my current subscribers are people that subscribe to me because of a tutorial or because of something I posted on Reddit. I can understand that the Let's Play isn't for everyone. I'm okay with that because doing the Let's Play is the most fun I've had on YouTube by far. I'm sure you know, but like doing build tutorials is just uh, extremely boring. So yeah, now this YouTube channel is more to show about how my single player world is doing. I'm still passionate about Minecraft. I'm passionate about building. It's tough for me to align how much I'm playing and how much I'm showing you through videos because I'm playing way more than what I'm showing. So yeah, I just want to thank the people that stood by me all this time. I know it's not easy, but yeah, anyway. So one of the main things I wanted to do in this world ever since I, I started, even since the first episode, is there is a big hill behind my starter home and I always thought, oh, that would be a nice place for a castle or a mansion or whatever. Today we're going to work on that. So first off, I'm going to work on the hill on the cliff side. So let me do that real quick and I'll show you after. So yeah, as you can see, we went for a gradient like we did for the other cliffs we did in the village. So it's dark at the bottom and lighter at the top. Mostly black stone, then deep slate, then stone, tough, and then we finished with grass. I did add some lighting too that we're going to hide with some leaves at some point. And I left a, an opening in the inside and the funnel has just a path of dirt. But yeah, I've actually put all the chests and all the redstone. Uh, this is one of Rapscallion multi-item sorter. You have the input and then it goes into a shulker unloader. And then it goes into an item elevator all the way up. And then there's a defragmenter that makes it so not all the items go at once. And then it's gonna go into every slice. When there's matching items, then it goes down into the chest. We have all these chests and as you can see there's all the items that I want to sort. So there's two of each and there's also blockers. And every time there's a match it's gonna go down in that slice. Okay so we had the wood, now this is all the stone. And you know there's a few items missing in case we have uh, new types of stone, new types of dirt etc. So this is all the sand, dirt and uh, also mushrooms. There we have all the greenery, so leaves, saplings, flowers. And this one it's all the few colored blocks, we've got the candles, the dyes. On this one it's just black stone because uh, I always use a ton of it and I didn't want to put it with something else. There it's all the deep slate and also all the ores. There it's all the food, also sugar, bolts. Yeah, this one there's a few plants, then honey, etc. Yeah, this one is all the terracotta and bricks and we have all the colored glass and also glass bottles. There it's all the villager blocks and a few decoration ones. This one it's all the minerals, gold, copper, amethyst. There is all the copper blocks. There it's all the redstone. Okay on this one it's all the end blocks and also the corals and prismarine. Then we have all the nether blocks with also quartz, beacons, nether stars. Then on this one I only put obsidian. Then we have all the mob drops. Okay on this one it's all the wools and carpets and banners. And after that it's all empty spaces for now. I know there's a few blocks coming with 1.19. But yeah I also put some of the blocks in front of it so we can kind of get an idea of what is inside. Okay near the end we have all the unstackable 
all the items that don't have any match in all the slices. We also have a slice for overflow in case one of the chest wall is full. And we also have a trash can. Items that I put in here gets dispensed into lava. Okay, now that we have the redstone ready, we're gonna do a small test. So I have this shulker box, three of different items should end up in the right place. I also added these redstone lamps on top. It's gonna show you when it's working. So let's go. So as you can see, it's not getting sucked in because this is a trap chest. So as long as it's open, not gonna take items. Let's go. So you can see the elevator is working and we should see all the lights blinking. So yeah, it's gonna go through the whole system. One thing I need to make sure is if it gets unloaded, it can break. So I just need to stay there whenever I'm sorting. And yeah, and the first one that aren't blinking, so that means it's all the last items that are through. It's not the fastest system in the world, but I think it works pretty well for what it does. I think it's just the shulker box and the tropical fish bucket. Looks like we got all the ones that are put in into the right slices. So yeah, let's see if it made its way to unstackable. Yep, there you go. So the shulker box and the tropical fish. Perfect. Now that we have a hill, we can start working on what's on top of the hill. I wasn't sure to do a mansion or a castle and in the end I did go for a mansion. I do have all the items for it. I just won't be able to do a time lapse. Let's go for a big reveal. Ta da! Yeah, I really love how it looks. Uh, this is like the perfect place for it, majestically on top of the hill. As you see, I also added a few diagonals. Not something I'm really good at. I think it looks pretty good. So I still need to do a path bunny hopping away on top of here. I think it looks a lot more fancy than the rest of the buildings in the village. Maybe it's the spikes that does that. I don't know. Yeah, I really like how this looks. You know, it's a lot of spruce. No, a bit of stone, some calcite. No, I think it's pretty varied. I also didn't want to do a symmetrical build because I mostly do those when I do bigger builds. And this time I wanted to kind of break the mold. Then we have a big balcony with acacia for windows. Yeah, small pathway, then two entrances. So yeah, as you can see, I finished the interior. It's a beautiful oak plank floor. We need to come up with something. I'm not really not sure yet what to do and how to access things or if I make the, all the towers accessible or if I just leave them as empty spaces. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, on this side, we also have a, like a double balcony. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the, <laughs> the cliff isn't really done on this side. I'm not sure yet how to finish it. If I just mirror what I did on the other side. It depends if I want to add builds. I'm really not sure yet, so I don't know what will go for in the end. Hey, yeah, on this side, I also did a, kind of a different roof. I didn't do the usual roof trim. Went for a kind of a flatter roof. <laughs> I'm not used to those, so that's why I put it in the back. So in case it was not looking good, then it doesn't change the view too much. Yeah, in the courtyard, we also added this big, beautiful tree. I'm uh, really happy with it. It's uh, very bushy. I barely can see the trunk, but I do think it looks pretty good. Also have a small bridge. You can access the other parts of the build. And yeah, in the water, I added some coral just to have some more red colors. And then down here, we have a waterfall that goes down to the river that we have going through a whole village. Really happy how this build came out. There's a lot more work to be done on it. I just wanted to go on a little adventure, try to find a warden. Just gonna do a very quick montage of it.
yeah, anyway, I made it back home with my lays and uh, my sculpt blocks. That's actually gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I'll be back with another one real soon. I have most of the footage on already. I think next I'm gonna finish this storage room and then we'll see what else we do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care and bye bye.